Hi everyone, and today we are going to make a calculator app in code.org. So for that, we ha I have opened here code.org or uh, app lab. So over here, we'll get the app lab. So I have opened it. Now let's rename our project as calculator. Then we'll click on save. Yes. Now here I have the theme, so I'll choose a different theme, such as orange. Then I'll take a label, which will be a my top label. So my label text will be calculator. Okay. Then the bit will be fill parent. So for that, what I will do is, uh, we will just shift it upwards. Okay. So here we will get one arrow. Then we will is increase the size. Perfect. Now I will scroll down and take the font type as Arial black font sizes. We will just increase it and check what the font size comes like. So 38 is a perfect font size, but there's no gap in the tops. So what I will do is I'll just take a gap. Yeah. So now border also should be no border should be there. So it, it will look something like this. Okay, now we will take a, a text input term. Okay, then here that arrow again I'll snatch it up. Text here I'll put as enter your number okay so it will be like a watermark over there so when you type it over there it gets disappeared so we will is take the font size as uh, 25 no 26 okay now i'll scroll a bit up and take the font type as Arial Black. So here the text we can make. So what we will do is again decrease it into some 20. Perfect. Now text alignment should be center. Now what we will do is this is uh, okay. So what we will do is again uh, drag and drop another text input. So this time this will be a bit different from the uh, first one. So it should be a bit front of the first one and bit back of the first second one. Means it should be a bit bigger. Perfect. So font size over here also I will give it as 20. Text alignment as center. Font type as it is black scroll up placeholder text i will is do one thing come to the first level here control control a and then control copy okay then here for uh, second placeholder i will control paste the same thing but instead of writing here first i'll type here second So still I think it's small enough. So I'll increase the width. I think it's a bit smaller. Okay. I have to make it a bit more small. And then move it over that side and put up. Okay. Now scroll down. Font will be smaller. 
like it should be 19 okay then our result input will be also a text like this but it should be a bit bigger what we will do is drag and drop it to speak okay it should be a bit big like this so that uh, whatever big numbers the uh, people type using this should uh, get placed in this result box properly so i think i can increase this a bit more because it doesn't look good to me yeah perfect so what i will do is here i will take the background color and change it i would love it if it would be something brownish or uh, like this or instead i can take a blue color like this way so i think for me it's better to keep it a brownish color yeah now take drag and drop a button button one button two button three and then button four so here i'll come and then i'll increase the height into increase the height into what should i increase let's check so height is over here 40 so i'll increase it into 60 yeah we'll go a bit up and then we will we will decrease the size of the width so that looks like a square so i'll keep it 75 over here and here also i'll increase it into 75 no 70 looks better what i will do is i'll keep it into the upper top then we will move this one upwards okay then here my width is 75 so i will is copy it and then paste it over here thank you very much so here okay and go a bit up yeah so height over here i'll make it as 70 okay we are also with the uh, should be this and five and i should be 70. so i think here it making a bit disorder what we will do is keep it a bit upwards and then okay it went very up into the corner your height became very much so i'll decrease it 67 is okay here also 67 down there is a bit space i'll move it down okay here again the width should be 75 and the button should be 70 okay which will be 75 and then i'll move it a bit that side perfect so here again i'll make it as 77 okay so i'll just show you from a close look how does it looks here i have given my text so this is a label this is my first text which i'll uh, give the input i id as uh, first numbers first numbers okay and then the second one as second numbers here my result i'll keep it as result itself placeholder what i will do is i'll write your text as your result 
So I think the text is very small, so I'll scroll down. Because our box is very big, I will give it a very big font. Just keep increasing. We can increase it more. Go center. No, I think uh, we can erase one word over here. So which is your result. So I'm erasing your over here and it's done. Then we will is take the font size more big, big. So here I'm increasing it like this. Yeah, button two. One, I'll come and I'll go up. You can see here ID. So ID over here should be add. Okay. Then we, I'll take the text as, I don't want here any text to be, I'll leave it blank. Scroll down. So my text color is white. So I'll scroll down, take, click on this, go to icons and search for plus. So this one I'm taking, so it looks like this, perfect. Choose here again, icon. Minus because here I'm gonna give the minus button. So this one, yes. So I'll again scroll up for this. Text should be erased, and button ID should be subtract. Okay, then here I'll come. I'll erase the button text. Button ID should be as multiply and then button icon I'll give it as cross. So here I'll go to icons, search for cross. So this one over here, I will scroll up and erase the button ID and keep it as. Divide. So here I will tell you one thing. So for button four, which is divide, we don't have a division symbol like that. So what we will do is for here I will search divide. Symbol. When I get it, I'll just control copy it and then come back here and paste it in the text area. I think it's not getting pasted. Again, I'll come back here. And then control copy. Okay, here, control paste and enter. So here it is very small. So what I will do is first I'll Change the text color into black, then we will see what is the thing. Okay, scroll down and let's check. Uh, I can make this area black and then I'll increase it. Let's see how big I can. So the font 55 looks fine to me, so I'm okay with this. So this is how it looks like our app. Then I will do one thing, I will make it a bit smaller so that my run button is also visible. Now we will go to the code part. So code here I will take is on event. Okay, so on event ID we will actually first button as add. So here we need to set our text over here. So for that what we will do is set text. And then our result screen. So what we will search for? Result. You can check the ID here itself instead of going to the design. Just keep your arrow and you can lead it over that ID. So here also result is kept. What I will do is text over here. I'll click on control A. 
and then erase all. For that, I'll go to math. Here, when we scroll up, I have this is as my add button. I'll take here the add mathematic operation. We paste it over here. Yes. Now here I'll go. So here we will take a set number text instead of get number instead of get text because text will give us the text instead of getting a number. What we will do is if we take the set te get text, what will happen is when we click on add button, for example, 10 plus 2, it will become as 102 instead of getting 12. So for the first one, I'll keep it as first numbers and second one as second numbers. So this is the coding for the add button. I'll run it and show you. So here I'm typing as 100. So see our watermark got raised and here I'll type as 20. So add. We came here as 120. We got our result. We'll reset it and then we will work with our second button. So for all button, it's the same coding. So what we will do is together I will drag and drop here more three on event IDs. Okay, ID for this should be subtract. Here my ID will be multiply and here my ID will be divide. Then I will just move my video once and then take my result as set text here. ID should be result screen math form instead of UI control. Then uh, I'll come back here and control A, erase the text, math control. Then we will add here one math operation. Then we will is so here it's showing a triangle because it has something over here is not declared, means there are no coding over here. For that, we will is take the UI control and get number then over there and then another get number over there so here my id will be first number here my id will be second number okay then we will show you the subtraction button run so here I'm putting my number as uh, 2 and here as 5. So if you click here add, it comes as 7. But for the same number, if you again click for minus, you get your number. Like there's no number for now. So I'll reset it. Again run. Now here I'll type it as 2. And here, 4. So, minus 6. So, here I have done a mistake is that I have taken the code here as plus. So, I'll do one thing. I'll remove the plus bar. Go to math. Take the minus bar. Perfect. Now UI control get number again another get number. First ID should be first number and the second one should be second number. Then what I will do is uh, do the coding for multiply button also. For that I'll take a set text id then my id should be result text as none go to max 
here this one is the multiply if you don't know which one is for what you can just keep your arrow for that and you can read the title over there now i'll drag and drop it over here put ui control and then get number and then again get the number id over here should be as uh, number two then id for this one should be here first number so for divide button also we we'll take set text and this as result then text should be none go to max this is our divide button so here we will drag and drop it go to ui control and then drag and drop or get number code so one over here one over there per id i will choose it first so second number and here i'll take the first number so if you want to see the code i'll just show you again so this is over here okay so now i'll show you another thing if you don't know where which block is you can directly write all the scripts using show text like this okay let's go to show blocks uh and now let's run it so here i will type it as 30 and here as 100 divide 0.3 fix it now to send it to you i'll show you another demo so for that i'll take share here i'll control copy the link and open a new tab so here i will paste my link and click on enter so this is how it looks like then i'll show you how it works here i'll uh, type as 2 how 20000 and here as 9 lakhs okay then now plus we get a result as 92 9 lakhs 20000 Minus, we get minus eighty-eight thousand divide. We get zero point two 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 into we get this. Okay. So here one more problem is our result screen is not that big. So I'll again go to the design blocks and take here. I'll drag on that side, and here I will drag it a bit more that side. so that my whole result is visible now share so we can publish it in google play store share it in facebook and twitter and send it to phone over here enter a us phone number we can't do this because many people are from many countries so what to do is scan this code with your phone camera so we can download a scanner and then scan this code to get this app on our mobile That's it for this app. Thank you.